The gentlewoman from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you both so much for uh, coming to offer your testimony today um, and, and your expertise. Uh, Secretary Mnuchin, uh, not to belabor the point, but I did want to uh, dive back in here to um, section 4027 and 4029 that you're referencing. I, I do think it's important that we discuss this because you are um, you, you are bringing it up as, as the main rationale as to why you are uh, kind of bringing these funds back into uh, the, the general, the exchange stabilization fund. Um, so, you know, first and, and quickly, section 4027 has of CARES explicitly states that unused funds are to be returned to the exchange stabilization fund uh, until, or rather on January 1st, 2026, correct? That is correct, and that will occur okay. on January 1st, 2026. So, um, and that's with respect to, to the unused funds. Now, Section 4029. Uh, no, it's not the unused, it's the unused funds in the ESF at that time. Yes. That's correct. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, now, Section 4029 refers to rescinding authority uh, to making new loans, right? So, the law explicitly does contemplate, you know, it has that, that Section A, B, and C. Um, and it, it does explicitly contemplate that remaining funding as of January 1st, 2021, which is you know, just in a matter of weeks, to be available for restructuring, modification, amendment, and administrative costs. Is, is that right? That is correct. Um, and so I was, I was wondering if, if I could give you the opportunity to discuss about instead of choosing to return those funds and you are choosing to return those funds right no i'm not i'm not choosing to return those funds whether the funds are returned or the funds aren't returned 4029 governs both direct and indirect so again i could have allocated all 500 billion on day one to the federal reserve i allocated 200 billion it, it really is irrelevant it's the 4029 governs the same provision whether money's sitting in, 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 in any of the accounts. That was the purpose of 4029. If you don't read that way for 4029, then it, it shouldn't have existed. There is no purpose to have the December 31st, 2020 date. And again, I personally negotiated these documents. I, I understand. And I'm, I'm trying to seek some clarification because we are in such a desperate position, given the unfortunate gridlock. I think it, it's, that we're all kind of in, we're all aligned in interest in trying to figure out where we can explore maximum flexibility as offered by the statute. And so I'm, I'm just curious if instead of choosing to kind of return, or rather, I, instead of returning these funds, instead of reading um, the, the interpretation as returning these funds to the ESF, could you use, could we use this modification statute to recapitalize loans? Uh, it, recapitalize existing loans? Yes. So again, in, in my example, we have made airline loans. So people yes. are focusing on the 13.3. These facilities, this, this governs both the direct loans and the indirect loans. In the case of if there's an airline loan that we have already made and we need to make protective advances after December 31st, 2020, the statute allows us to do that. And, and again, it doesn't matter whether I had allocated 500 billion, I just wanna put this in perspective, of the 190 billion I allocated that would have done $2 trillion of lending, I believe we've done like 25 billion uh, in, in total. So we're talking about this, this is irrelevant in the broader scheme of things. So, and to kind of return to your airline example, are there other examples of advances that could be provided ahead of the sunset date? Again, on any of the existing underlying loans. So if there is a Main Street loan that has already been made, and that Main Street loan needs a protective advance after December 31st, 2020, that can be done. The difference between 4027 and 4029, okay, has to do with existing loans versus new loans. So again, it's very clear, 4029 refers to 
make new loans, loan guarantees, or other investments shall terminate. Thank you very much.